when we can see the dog uh, to be really obedient, when you keep it with a rope and the dog doesn't go, or when you let the rope free and the dog stay next to you. What is very important? To know for yourself that cheating is a shit, is a dirty thing, and you shouldn't do that. Temptation is everywhere. Everywhere. It's not necessarily should be on some bar or disco, on some form party, right? Or on some vacation. Temptation can be everywhere. And the person who is easy to be tempted, he or she will always find the way to let the temptation happen. I, I want you to understand me correctly now. Strong person, loving person, faithful person, the person full of respect to each partner, no matter his wife or husband, will always predict this temptation, will always look ahead if something may cause some behavior, some action may cause some temptation. So in this way, I absolutely agree. But remember, temptation is everywhere. And if the person is weak in this way, you never have a guarantee. Probably some of you who follow my live streams for a few years, I told once, some people can say, I'm not cheating. But these people sometimes don't have chances to cheat. Because let's say, let's say the man is working only in the man society. So at the company, only men, no women, right? Or women like of really elder age. And then you have routine uh, day schedule, which can be easily controlled by your wife. So work home, work home, work home. So she knows, let's say 15 minutes from office to home. If you are 30 minutes out, then she may think something is wrong with you uh, or something is going on or something like that. You should understand that. But if the man is working in society where mostly women of good age group, nice looking, and he is still strong not to be tempted, then he is a real hero. And this and his wife should really appreciate such men. Because not cheating is not always by inner principles and by inner philosophy. What is very important? To know for yourself that cheating is a shit, is a dirty thing, and you shouldn't do that. If you have some problems, they should be discussed. But if not, temptation can be everywhere in the train, in the bars, in the cash register, in supermarket, when your uh, package fall down and somebody help the woman to raise, help to put everything in bag, and who knows, chemistry may, you know, may shoot between both of them. So you never know, but the person should be strong towards temptation should be sure and confident in feelings, in the relationship he or she has at home, that somebody is waiting, and he shouldn't do anything what may cause uh, some wrong uh, things happen. So that's what I think. So if you have to keep your wife at home and not letting her go somewhere because you're not sure so she is strong enough in her faith, then this woman is not for you. You don't need to keep the person. The person should stay by himself or herself next to you. That's the main thing. When we consider dog uh, to be really obedient, when you keep it with a rope and the dog doesn't go or when you let the rope free 
and the dog stay next to you when we consider the dog is obedient. Sorry for primitive example, but I guess you understand what I mean. I am, I am not comparing women and men with dogs on the rope, on leash, right? It's another story. But I hope you understand what I mean. The person uh, should have inner principles and inner philosophy not to do wrong things. But not because you don't let her go. The same from her side to you. That's the difference. So that's my philosophy. I don't know if you agree, guys, or not.